Hi, my name is Dusty Hyland, and we're here at Dogtown CrossFit. Virtuosity is going beyond the fundamental. It's about applying exceptional position and finding a fluidity and artistry to your movement. It's making it look effortless, and that's what we're after in this video series. This season is about handstand and handstand walking, but it's not going to be enough to just take a couple steps on your hands. We're going to get you comfortable and balanced, and by the end of the season, you'll be walking on your hands right up a flight of stairs. Our mission is to develop exceptional movement in everything that we do, starting with the basic fundamentals of CrossFit, and that's what virtuosity is about. In last episode, we introduced our first obstacle, and our first obstacle was this short piece of material uh, designed for protection of your head for handstand push-ups. We introduced it as a obstacle to climb up and climb down. We're gonna take it to the next level now. We're gonna use those mats, we're gonna stack them up, we're gonna create a a higher obstacle for you guys to step up and step down on and ultimately we're going to introduce a mat okay we're going to give you two steps and we're going to give you a very specific drill for you to help not only start in that good handstand position but finish in a good handstand position as we do with all our drills and skills okay our first drill we'll be in introducing and using a small foam piece on the wall and we're going to step down and away from the wall at this point, our feet actually pull from the wall, just like our wall pull drill. We're gonna step down and away, always moving downward before we move upward and over an obstacle. The next drill that we'll hit will be going up that obstacle. So we're gonna start in a handstand, we're gonna kick to handstand, all right? But at this point, I want you to drive your heels to the wall. Yes, you're gonna be in a, uh, a, a greater distance from the wall, your hands are gonna be a greater distance from the wall, and you're gonna be on the floor. But, using the wall as support, as our balance, we're gonna be able to shift, lift, and traverse up those small little foam stairs we've made. All right, one cue for you here, and this is key, is once your feet are on the wall, we need to press long through the shoulder girdle and begin to shift before we lift. Now. If your shoulders allow you to do this, shifting and lifting tends to get a little easier. That's my special cue today, all right? So, hands a little narrower when we go to walk, shift, or lift today. We're gonna show you how to press long through that handstand. Feet are now on the wall. We're gonna step up that stairs and then finish it in, in a solid handstand kick down, all right? Finally, our drill. We're gonna take it to the mat. We're gonna do the same thing. One step, heels to the wall, step up, hold the handstand, come down. What we're after, and if you're comfortable, is starting kicking the handstand, establishing a beautiful handstand position, shift and lift up the first obstacle, shift and lift up the second obstacle, find good handstand position, come down. All right, and then for your, our super athletes, our super gymnasts, we're gonna walk up, we're gonna find hand, good handstand position, we're gonna turn around on the wall, and then try and come down using our wall pull drill. We're not going over pirouetting on the wall. That is just a little added bonus for you guys to play with, all right? Our ultimate goal, like I said at the beginning, is getting up that flight of stairs, so that's what we're after. We're learning how to get over obstacles, all right? That's all I got for this week. We're getting really close to walking up that flight of stairs. We'll see you next time. Peace out.